Magandang hapong po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Thank you for this chance to be with you. Especially ngayong assumption, we offer it to thank Mama Mary for being a mother for all of us. And uh, thank you for the chance to share tungkol kay St. Ezekiel Moreno. Uh, mm, di huya ka na one pinsan ni Isko Moreno. Pero ewan ko, <laughs> the point is, uh, this saint really manifested himself sa akin po. Kaya that's why I'm very happy for this opportunity to share with you, mga kapatid. Anyway, uh, 2018, magka-cancer po ako. Uh, well, before that, mm-hmm. February 7, 2018, had an accident sa Subo. I was there for a healing mass. Six o'clock healing mass. Four o'clock accident. Eh. Vehicular accident. And I was asking God, why? Lord, back it for? You know? Now I know why. Kung hindi po ako na aksidente, hindi po ako magpapacheck-up. Kung hindi po ako nagpacheck-up, hindi po ako malalaman na mayroon palang tumor na sa left lung. Stage 2. So mga kapatid, that's one of the first things. Something happens to you or does not happen. There must be a reason. There is a reason for everything. There is a reason for everything. So I took it to that. Stage two. Of course, well, why me? So, uh, July 17, 2018, they removed my upper left lobe. Lung. Uh, the back to me. And uh, one incident there during the time is yung doktor nag-opera sa akin, si Dr. Tony, si Dr. Bambi, uh, Tony Rama. Yung three-hour operation naging hours, they, they wanted to be very sure. No? They don't cut the, somewhere along the way, sabi ni Dr. Tony Rama, Dr. Bambi. Naku, magkasal na tayo. So the two doctors started praying the rosary. So that in itself was a good sign. Pag-uwi nga ni Dr. Tony Ramos sa, sa bahay doon nila, madaling araw na, ginisi niya ang misis niya, sabi niya, Cain, uh, bigyan mo sa akin yung pan, mysteries of the rosary. Sina nga po ako kay Mama Mary na from now on I will pray the rosary every day. So this, this for me are all signs and significant signs. So what happened? Uh, Nakauwi na ako dito sa Christ the King, dito sa Mission House. So this, uh, July 17, a week later, nandito na po ako. Then one evening, I was praying sa chapel, the Mission House, and there was a call from Mari Bigas. Dia. Father, sabi niya, I'm here to bring you a statue of St. Ezekiel Moreno. Sabi ko, ha? Uh, I really didn't know it. No? Uh, okay, sabi ko. Uh, when? When will you bring statue? Now na, Father. Nasa gate na kami. Oh, wow. Sabi ko. So I brought the statue. Uh, it's about uh, four, four, four feet. I didn't know how to welcome him. So nilagyan namin doon sa tabi ni Mama Mary. And as the days went on, okay, I would pray. And then one day, pagtingin ko sa pan, dito sa pan ni Sen. Ezekiel, Ah, may pawis pawis. And on the right eye, you could see a teardrop. Said, oh my God, what's this? You know, nawawala ko minsan, maya maya nandiyan na naman the next day. All throughout the six months, I was here for chemotherapy now. You know, nagparamdam po sa sinisipya. As if he was telling me, Jerry, I am with you. I myself am a cancer patient. Saint Ezekiel died of cancer, the patron of uh, cancer patient. Sinasa, parang sinabi sa akin, I will be with you. That was a tremendous uh, moral support for sa akin. You know, yung chemotherapy, napakahirap po yan, mga kapatid. 
and in my weakness, in the pain, I would go there and he was always there, assuring me, I am with you and will. So that's my experience for SNS. Yeah. Actually, um, after my last chemotherapy in December 2018, the stage of the original stage was still there in our chapel. This is the pilgrim statue which I bring whenever I give talks and, and that's it. After my last chemo, alam nyo, wala na wala ang pawis, na wala na yung mga luwan. And I said, oh, let me see here, baka nagkampo na where is that? And you know, parang message niya was, Harry, you're healed already. And that's what I believe in. In two years, this saint was from Spain. Really, I believe the manifesta and healing uh, And this saint was in the Philippines. He worked 15 years, Filipinas. Uh, um, Agustinian Recolet. At first, I could relate right away because I studied in San Sebastian. Alex, high school, Agustinian, the collector. And uh, I remember this when my brother Manu Oscar, who was also a student of uh, San Sebastian, he was the governor of Pangasinan then, I think, 1990s, uh, 92, 93, 94. The Recoletos asked Manu to help propagate Saint Sikiel Moreno. Little did I know that the goodness of Manong, I mean, the generosity he did for Saint Sikiel would someday be repaid to heal his brother. I really believe that God, God does not forget the goodness that he did. This is to be able to stay good. Huh? Even if people don't care, that they don't recognize, that's okay, that's okay. There we go, going back to Saint Isabel, Yun. Uh, by the way, he, he was in the Philippines. He was in Calapan. And then he was in Mindoro. And then he got sick. He recuperated in Bacolod. And he went back to Manila, then back to Calapan again, became the Vicar Provincial of Mintoro, and worked also in the Spinias. Santo Tomas, but in Intramuros and in Imus Cavite. And the main thing about Saint Isikiel was he administered to the sick and to the poor. Malapit siya sa mga nagkaramda. He was a very kind-hearted person. Kaya mahal niya ang mga Pilipino. Marami na pong nagpapapray over. I've seen people getting healed. Ang sinasabi ko, si Sen Ezekiel, you know, he died only in 1906. So, recently, he was with us Philippines. He's a saint who loves and feels. And whenever I'm going to tell you, 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 I'm going Nakapunta na po po sa lahat ng mga shrine ni Sen Ezekiel. I'm very happy na uh, I have found uh, a real brother. I, I go to his statue every day. I, I hold his hand and I mm -hmm. his statue. I keep asking him, Sen Ezekiel, please free me from Israel. Free me from COVID-19, 
free us from sin, free us from God. My simple prayer today. And many times I sit just in front of the statue and the Blessed Mother for his Blessed Son. And I feel that I have a brother, I have a father who really decent. At Mga Recoletos, I was invited 2019 to have a mass in their provincial aid. And I saw a relic there. Deep in my heart, I was saying, I don't know what I'm Guess what? Right after the mass, Father Provincial told me eh, before the final breath that they have decided to pick me a bone relic of Saint Ezekiel Moreno. So this is a bone relic of Saint Ezekiel. I container and I brought this relic, especially sa mga healing. Ito po ang kung natin kakalibutan. The saints, the insecure, including, are there for us. And they will bring us closer to the Lord and they will be blessed for us. Ezekiel Moreno, please pray for us. This moment, I invite you to bow your head. If you have anything that you're going to, just ask in Ezekiel Moreno, veteran saint of cancer patient. To pray, intercede. Whatever it is, any physical Those of you who are in pain, let this saint who walked with us, who was here in the Philippines, who loved the Philippines, especially the sick people. Marami rin sa atin during this pandemic have emotional, need emotional pain. Maraming nawawala ng kasa, nawawala ng tabaho, maraming worries, anxieties, hopelessness, even depression. Mm -hmm. Even yung nagiging galit na, nagiging matapang na, Say, is he filled with the power of the Holy Spirit? Heal us. Heal our wounded. The greatest sin is he filled for spiritual healing. Any one of us who are in the darkness of sin, who are continuously on bad, pray for me. Help me. Who do want to know? I would like to ask all those things secure to heal our relationships. We have unforgiveness. Yes, also. Sana. Corona tayo na kapitan. At pagmamaha. Pagpapatawa. At hinihirin namin sa secure, especially to Please bless our country to be lalong lalo na ngayon. Bukun yung papapayaan na Pilipino na nagihirap. Na kumisa na ipinapahirap at kapo. Pray for government officials to make a difference, especially during this time. And to make money, to make a difference. But we pray for the healing of the whole world. So wounded, we pray for restoration and healing. Sisters and brothers, Saint Ezekiel Moreno, please pray for us. And I ask that Saint Ezekiel to bless you all of us. Set us free, please help us to set us free from this COVID 19. In Jesus' name, with the power of the Holy Spirit, with the intercession of Mama Mary, the angel. Thank you, Lord, for giving us.
focusing to walk with us here in the Philippines. We love the Philippines. Thank you for Marami para Muchas gracias, Padre Ezequiel, Obispo Ezequiel. Amen.